Hey everyone, welcome to my current favorites. This is my first favorites video and I'm kind of excited to do it because it's going to answer some of the questions that some of you have had for me about my hair, what I use, you know, different things. All of that is going to be in this video. Well, not all of it because I'm going to do a separate video that tells you everything that I use for my red hair and I'm also going to try to do a video where I actually show you how I get my hair colored and all of that stuff. So that's going to be a whole separate video all about my red hair, but I want to do a video right now where I show you what I kind of like use on it, my favorite products to use on it. And I also want to include beauty products because as you know and as I've told you, I'm trying to have a broader spectrum on my channel. I don't want it to just be natural hair. I want it to be natural hair, makeup, fashion, DIY, all kinds of stuff, lifestyle stuff, health, all that stuff. So this favorite video is going to include a lot of different things. Um, and it's going to include, you know, things that are lifestyle related aside from beauty, like my favorite music, things like that. So, let's get started. Now, yes. this first product I'm going to show you has to be my favorite product out of all my favorite products that I'm about to show you. And that's because it was so important for me to find a product like this. And this product was actually gifted to me from the company and they gifted it to a bunch of Instagram bloggers and natural hair bloggers and all across you know the natural hair kingdom um, they sent a bunch of us you know this new product that they had which was this this is the cream of nature argan oil pure delicious co-wash and and I just can't find the words to explain how much I love this. If you have colored hair, red, purple, blue, whatever, you know how hard it is to keep your color. This right here, what you're seeing is just from me doing a cold wash with color probably in April when I did my three strand twist out video, which I'll link right here. When I did my three strand twist out video, that's the last time I actually touched my color up with, you know, the dye and my conditioner and all that stuff. That's the last time I've touched my color up. This right here that you're seeing has been maintained by me using this co-wash along with the other products that I'm going to show you. Now the thing about this co-wash that I really really love about it is it's not, it's not like other co-washes that I've run into that are basically like conditioners and they don't clean your hair. Like I've searched and searched and searched for a good cold wash because I knew that's what I needed for my hair because I can't shampoo my hair all the time or I really try not to shampoo my hair at all because it can really fade your color especially red hair. Red hair fades extremely fast. It's extremely hard to keep up. This is the first cold wash that I've used or shampoo I should say because it's really to wash your hair but it is the first one that I've used that actually cleanses my hair, conditions my hair, and helps my color stay vibrant. And this is just, like, it's just amazing. Like, I definitely will be purchasing this on my own over and over again. Because me, once I find something that I love, especially when it relates to my hair, I stick to it and stay with that product. And this is just amazing. Like, I can't even say, you know, anything else to describe how much I love this. If you have red hair, you have colored hair, bleached hair, anything like that, this is the cold wash to use. This is only, I think, actually, I'm going to look up. What? $7.99. This product only costs $7.99, and this is the best cold wash I've ever used. I can't believe this is only $7.99. I definitely will be purchasing this on my own and over and over again, like I said, because I can't believe this is $7.99 and it works so good. I've used high-end co-washes and they haven't even worked this well. Wow. Thank you, Cream of Nature. This is amazing. I recommend this to anybody with color hair. Please use this. I can't believe this is $7.99. Okay, calm down. Let's move on to the next product because I nearly had a heart attack. Okay, so this next product I'm going to show you is my favorite conditioner. This is what I use in conjunction with the co-wash. This is the only conditioner that I use. I don't use any other conditioners. I, sometimes I'll mix it up and try to use something else just when I don't want to use this one up. But this is my all-time favorite conditioner. I've used it ever since I've gone natural. 
Um, I've been using this for years basically. And this is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner. Now, the reason I love this conditioner is because it has great slip. And I think the main reason it has so much slip is because it has panthenol in it, which is a vitamin B. And that's the main ingredient in a lot of conditioners because it has such slip and things like that. So when I wash my hair, I always make sure I use this conditioner. I just love it. It gives me, you know, that silky feeling. It gives me enough slip so that I can actually detangle my hair and make sure I have all the knots out and all that stuff. It's just a great conditioner. Now the thing with me is when I condition my hair and when I wash my hair, I don't know if other people have this problem, but I always end up leaving conditioner in the middle of my scalp. It always gets stuck there. I never wash it all the way out. I always have a problem with getting it all out because I feel like I have so much hair that it's hard to get all of the conditioner out and get the water into my scalp. And then on top of that, I'm nervous about letting too much water run through my hair because then my color will fade and all that stuff. So it's kind of hard for me to you know really really get in there and get all of it out. But what I've started doing is I'll make sure I get my scalp first and hold my hair separate and then I'll rinse the shampoo and conditioner or whatever out of my hair because I'm always worried about my color fading. So yeah but, but I'm getting completely off the point. I love this conditioner. This is the best conditioner I've ever used and it's just amazing. I love it. I don't know if I'll ever change from this because I don't really try out other things. But for the sake of my channel, I've been trying to try out other things and, you know, relay back to you what I like. But for me, it really doesn't get any better than this. I mean, I've been with this for about three, four years now since I've been natural. So now the next product is also wash related and I also use this in conjunction with my other two products, my co-wash and my conditioner. And this is the Afro G Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor. And I basically use this because my hair has to be bleached in order for it to be this bright of a red. Anytime you want a bright color like this, red, purple, blue, any color like that, and you want to really, really show you have to bleach your hair, you have to use some type of bleaching agent with it to get that color. And basically, you lose protein when you do stuff like that. You lose curl pattern and texture, all that type of stuff, you lose some of it. Some cases are worse than others, some cases are not. But this is what I use whenever I do my wash day. Well, not whenever because I don't want to make it seem like every single time I wash my hair I use this. I don't. I use this about every other time that I wash my hair. And I haven't really had that bad of a problem with me bleaching my hair and using heat on it. The most texture loss I've seen is in my crown area and this front area right here. And that area was loose to begin with. I think my curl pattern before I even got it bleached or started using heat on it again was 3B in that area. And then the rest of my hair is like 3C, 4A. But yeah, I basically use this just to take an extra precaution because I do use heat more now and because of the bleaching aspect of me getting this color. So yeah, this is my current favorite right now for giving me that extra protein boost that I need in my hair. Now before I go on to my current favorite hairstylers, like products that I use to style my hair, I want to get into some beauty favorites just to throw that in the mix too. Like I said, I'm trying to have a broader spectrum. So yeah, let's get into that first and then we'll get back into hair products and those are going to be stylers and things that I use. But uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, so right now the look you see, my eyes and stuff was created using a certain palette. And this palette, it's a palette but you can buy all these shadows individually. I've done a tutorial on this eye look, believe it or not. It just looks different because of the lip color that I chose. But um, I'll link that right here. I'll just put it right here and I'll link it below but this right now is my current favorite palette it has so many nice warm colors and it's just so many colors to choose from to do a ton of looks and that's the Morphe Jaclyn Hill favorites palette it has warm neutrals it has you know pinks purples greens all of that red tones all of that and so I really love this palette because of the warm tones and I just love how warm tones look on me I like how, I like how cool tones look but I really love that this palette offers so many warm tone colors and it's so many neutral colors that I can just pull from this palette. And I know I can replace the colors if I ever run low because all the shadows in this palette are permanent with Morphe. And I think they're about 2 to $3 a pop. So, yeah. So, this is my current favorite for my eye looks and all that stuff. 
Now the next product I'm going to show you, I've been using this for years. Ever since I started dabbling in makeup, I've been using this. And it's the NYX HD Concealer in 10. This is a drugstore makeup product. It's about $6. And I think it is definitely worth the price. I haven't found a concealer that I like yet that gives me full coverage like this one does. This one I think gives medium to full coverage depending on how you layer it. And I really like how it works for me. I like how it gives me you know a highlight all of that stuff and you know it's just my favorite product and it's great to have so definitely try out NYX HD concealers before you go buy you some pro long wear I'm thinking about trying out pro long wear again the last time I used it I didn't like it because it used to crease on me but I, but I think if I use it with a beauty blender it'll work a lot better for me but um yeah so, so this is my favorite concealer at the moment I definitely recommend you look into it if you're looking for a medium to full coverage concealer and you're not trying to break your wallet let me say something there are going to be moments while I'm talking in this video that I'm probably gonna have lipstick on my teeth but ignore it I can't help it I've been trying to you know keep looking in the camera to make sure there's nothing on my teeth but yeah hopefully it doesn't show up I don't see it right there but if it does happen please ignore it don't point it out or anything and somebody's gonna troll and point it out I know I know I know I know we'll, we'll leave it alone <laughs> the next product I'm gonna show you I'm so glad I found it is an eyeliner now I've had problems finding an eyeliner that really works for me especially a gel liner because they always dry out so fast and they get hard and clumpy too easily when you're trying to work with them like I feel like some of them are extremely hard to work with so I started using liquid liners even though I didn't like the finish of them because I like matte eyeliner but after seeing some other people use this liner I was like okay this liner must really work because it's just gliding right on for them it's opaque you know and it's a gel liner and it gives that matte finish still in the end and that is the Maybelline eye studio gel liner in black is black this eyeliner glides on like a dream I love how easily it glides on just everything about it is just a great eyeliner it's a drugstore eyeliner I think it costs tops seven dollars it probably costs less than that um, I'm not sure I'll check and link it down below or whatever how much it really costs but it can't cost more than ten dollars but even if it did cost ten dollars it's worth it because I've tried high-end gel liners and they still didn't glide on as good as this gel liner did and it still wasn't as opaque as this gel liner so I definitely recommend this you can find it at your drugstore it's a great product so go out and get this eyeliner if you're like me and like matte eyeliners but you have a problem finding gel liners that don't glide on easily enough for you now this next Next product was just recently released. I bought it before it was released in stores. I bought it online at Sephora. And it was like a big craze for this product. I'm currently wearing it right now. That's why my highlight is on fleek right now. And it is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter. This is what it looks like right here. It's basically like a gold champagne color kind of a little bit of a rosy tone but it still has that gold highlight and I absolutely love this I feel like this is a highlight that will work on all types of skin tones from light to dark it's just a great freaking highlight like you can see it on my face right now and that's the highlight that I'm wearing on the tip of my nose my cheekbones everything this highlighter is amazing I'm I really like that when Jaclyn Hill makes products or works in collaboration with companies the colors that she chooses always are broad they can be worn by someone with a light skin tone to a dark skin tone. So I really, really like this. The new thing now is strobing. And I've seen a few videos with people using strobing. What's funny is I was doing strobing when I didn't really know how to do makeup. And did no contouring whatsoever. So I see a lot of people doing strobing with this product right here. And I'm going to try it out and see if I like strobing. But I think strobing is something that I strictly do for summer. It's not, it's not something I'm going to make my permanent makeup routine. I strobe my makeup when the summer is here. Like I do highlighter and bronzer and you know that minimal type of stuff. But when it comes to a full face, contouring for me is a must. It gives your face back structure. And especially when you're a darker skinned person, for me, I feel like I have to contour. Because if I don't, my skin will look monotone and I'll have no structure or anything like that. Because everything is just blank. 
You know what I'm saying? It's just brown. And there's no beginning to end. And I think that may be for light skin tones too. For, for darker skin people like myself, sometimes we have natural hyperpigmentation in certain areas. Like here I have natural hyperpigmentation here. Here I'm darker on my forehead than I am in the center of my face. Stuff, Stuff like that that you have when you're darker skin. It won't be just one color. You'll have different areas where it's darker and lighter and stuff like that naturally on your skin tone. So I feel like for me, contouring is a must for me. For anybody else who's a darker skin tone or brown skin like myself or whatever, if you feel like you don't need to contour, then that's completely up to you. But for me, sometimes I feel like I have to contour it so it looks more natural and has darkness and shadows where my natural skin has darkness and shadows. So, yeah. But before I get completely off topic, like I said, I love this. The Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter is life. I love it. That's what I'm wearing right now and it is great. Now, right now for my favorite song is Jeremiah Plains. And it's not really even for his part. It's for J. Cole's part. If, if you follow me on Instagram or you know me personally or anything like that, then you know that I'm a huge J. Cole fan. You remember last year when I stood outside in the rain in New York City just so I could go to his Dollar and Dream concert. You remember before that when I went to his What Dreams May Come tour. You remember all of that stuff. You know that I'm a huge J. Cole fan. Okay, this song right now is not J. Cole's song. Is Jeremiah's song playing? You need a nigga that's gonna put it in your mouth. Dick so big, it's like a foot is in your mouth. And you ain't babysitting, but my kids all on your couch. Oh. You nasty. Oh, oh, you nasty. Okay, so that's my favorite song right now, just for that verse. And I know some of you might be like, that verse is so vulgar, blah, blah, this, this, and that. But listen, we're talking about my favorites right now. When you want to talk about your favorites, then feel free to talk about what you like. That whole verse, the beat, and all that type of stuff. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a little ratch. I, I like some of that stuff, okay? But yeah, that's my favorite song right now. Now, currently, I've been using this product a lot. Even when my hair is straight, I've been using it to, you know, wrap my hair, things like that. And I've spoken about before in my Q&A video. And I just really have fallen in love with this brand and this products. Even though the products could be a little steep for me. But they're definitely worth it to me. So I definitely go out and buy their products whenever I start getting low or running low. But I also try to save a little and try to use other products so I don't use it up. But let me get into what this product is. So this is the Camille Rose Naturals Almond J twisting butter I use this whether I'm twisting my hair wrapping it up whatever even when my hair is straight I use this product just to give my hair some extra moisture I love how thick it is this is what it looks like it's really thick and I just love how thick it is and it smells amazing it smells like cake I always say that when I talk about their products but their products smell like cake to me for some reason and I don't even like cake but I love how their products smell. So this is one of my favorite stylers right now. Now, before my love came for the Almond J Twisting Butter, this was my love. The Camille Rose Naturals Curl Love Moisture Milk. I love this. As a matter of fact, this is a brand new bottle because I ran out of two bottles already. I love this. This, in my opinion, is a lot more moisturizing than the Almond J Twisting Butter. And I think that's the point. That really is meant just for twisting. And this is actually meant for moisture. So I think that's why this one is more moisturizing. But this is also great for twist outs too. If you want more moisture than the Almond J Twisting Butter can offer, then definitely go to the Curl Love Moisture Milk. And just leave the Twisting Butter for just when you're trying to just do some real quick twists. Even on dry hair, that works great on twist. This is one of my holy grail grails. You know what I'm saying? Thank you Camille Rose Naturals for inventing these products. Seriously. Now we're moving on to edges. And this product came in and knocked me off my socks because I was so used to using my Eden's Body Works edge control. You know, I hadn't really tried any other edge controls, but I kept hearing about this brand. Everybody kept talking about this brand, you know, in the natural hair world, even in the relaxed world. In the braiding world, all that stuff, everybody kept talking about this brand. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it. So I went to Sally's and I saw the price and I said, $15? That's how much it costs. It costs almost $15. I think it was $14.99. And I'm like, what the hell? But I bought it anyway just to see how it was and I was hooked. So you can't see the name because I basically killed it. It's the Hicks Edge Control. This edge control works so freaking good. It's ridiculous like it really lays your edges it doesn't give you flakes or anything like that 
It just really does its job and doesn't leave any residue, none of that stuff. And that's the problem that I run into with a lot of edge controls is that I'll start getting like flakes and stuff right here in this area because that's where I use it at the most and my hair will be clean but now I have to rewash my hair because of the flakes and the dryness that the edge control has caused. With this I've never had that problem and I'm lucky that I found this. Now with that said, the price of this is a little steep. So I have been looking for cheaper products to use in the main while for like little stuff like going to work and stuff like that and trying to save this for special events. So far I haven't found any luck with finding anything that's as good as this, but I have found something that's close and it's actually really cheap. I think it's about 5 or $6 and that's this, the Lather Body Edge Control. Now this works pretty good for the price. It lays my edges down. That's what I'm using right now. It lays my edges down. The only problem that I have with it is that it doesn't seem to work well in heat. When I did do my hair and lay my edges down and went outside, it's kind of like it was melting right off. It still kept my edges laid down a little bit, but it's like it was completely just melting off my face. But it'll probably be something that I'll use in the winter versus the summer because, like I said, it melted really, really quick when I went outside. And as I look around, I believe that is it. So for those of you that don't know, by the time you see this, I'll be out of town. I actually tried to film a couple videos before I leave so you'll have something to watch while I'm gone. Hopefully I get them all edited and up to you in time. If not, then you'll definitely have a bunch of videos coming to you as soon as I come back from being on vacation. It's not actually vacation, I'm actually going back home to New Jersey. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to update you all on that in case any of my uploads are late. I know when I did this twist out video, my upload was a day late. So I don't want that to become a problem again. I want to be consistent with my uploads. You know, once in a while I feel like I'm uninspired. So that's why you won't see an upload from me. But for the most part, it's usually timing with me having to go to work and having other stuff going on. But I still try to get you your videos in time. So hopefully you like this video. If you want to see more favorites videos, you know, dealing with natural hair, beauty, all of that stuff, then you will definitely be happy to know that I will be doing this on a monthly basis. Just to give people out there an idea of what I like and what has changed and why I may have left a certain product and moved on to another and stuff like that. And it also helps with me not having to answer so many questions about my hair regimen or what I'm using or things like that. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I have a lot of other different types of videos that I have planned to come. I also have some more natural hair videos that I want to get out because for one thing I really love my natural hair. So I don't want that to get lost within my channel. If I transition and completely, you know, become inspired by other things, then so be it. But right now in my life, I really don't want to lose track of, you know, my natural hair content on this channel. So, so I'm definitely always going to try to make that a factor on my channel unless my life completely changes and I'm all about charity or something. You know, a bunch of different things, but yeah. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some insight on some of the things I use in my hair. Or some questions that you had about what I use in my hair. Or what products I'm liking right now. Or any of that stuff. Ooh. Okay, bye.